Welcome to Case Back Watches. My name is Tim and for this episode I have two great new things. New watch and new wallet and now let's do it. Yes, Yima contacted me again and they said we have something very special, please don't talk about it, but you can borrow one for a review in May. And I said um, at least I should uh, see some pictures just to make sure that I like the watch, that the audience will like the watch. And they sent me some images and yeah, I said immediately yes, let's do it. And then they sent the watch and now I'm allowed to talk about it. We have a new Superman dive watch 39 millimeters full loom. And here you see it on the wrist. And I personally like these Yima models and I'm in good company. The Superman was pretty much a success because it's a good looking watch and it's very versatile. You can wear it together with a more formal attire. And at the same time, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty tough dive watch with 300 meters water resistance and a diver extension as you may see here. And so we have a nice contrast between a rough and a dressy. At the same time they are powered by an in-house caliber so you don't have the Miyota movement in it, the, the, the yeah, well-known Miyota, you have something more special in it. The specs are good, the price is okay and so I'm happy to present you this watch in a light box review in a second. And in the second part of the review, I'd like to show you progress in my own leather, leather workshop here. I, yeah, I upgraded the game a bit and I can present you now a brand new, renewed, enhanced case spec wallet. I'm very proud of it. We have timestamps, by the way. If you're only interested in the watch or only interested in the wallet, you can navigate very easily through the entire video. And now let's go in the light box. Let's check out a watch and a wallet. And as always, let's go over the basic specifications first. We have a case diameter here of 39 millimeters. The length lug to lug is 48. The lug width is 19. And we have a height of 13 millimeters. So relatively contemporary watch. And we have a sapphire crystal. A, as you can see, a metal bezel. And inside works the in-house caliber Yima 2000 with 28,800 beats, 29 jewels and a power reserve of 42 hours. Then we have a 120 click unidirectional bezel with a bezel lock as you can see. We have a screw down crown here with quite some height and this leads to a water resistance of 300 meters. So this is a real dive watch, you could use this thing underwater. And now let's see the bracelet here. We have a very substantial, good looking bracelet with a security clasp with the Yima logo here. But the star here, of course, is the dial. Full loom means that the entire dial is a dot of loom, as you can see here now. But also without that feature, it's a good looking dial. It's very legible here, very clear, very pure with the writing. You see there the Yima, the the 990 feet. Is it 990 feet? Yep, Tim, it is 990 feet. And you have here this typical, uh, the, the, these typical indices you find on many, on many dive watches, these, with these round things here. You have very legible hands, very distinctive. And the watch overall looks somewhat clean because there's not, not a bezel insert, so very undisturbed. Now I can imagine this uh, very good as a summer watch, as a beach watch together with, with t-shirts or polos or, or white shirts. And now let's operate the watch. If this is your first Yima, then let me tell you this, the bezel lock is not a gimmick. It really locks the bezel so you cannot use it now. You have to unscrew the crown and now it comes loose. See this? And now you can operate it like a normal watch. Um, as always, excuse my hands, I have some smaller cuts. It was a pretty intense day at the workbench and so <coughs> But now you can, you can operate. We have only position one here because it's a no date version, and this this uh, movement allows a no date version, so no ghost position. This is very nice, and then you can set the time. It's hackable, as you may see here, and so feels very good. I must say, feels very good, and allows. By the way, it allows, allows hand winding as well. Let's give it a wind. And there you are. And then now you can lock it again. 
and it's secure again. So what I find interesting here beyond this, this loom feature, I mean you will not see this um, every time so I think this is nice to have and nice to know but what you see all day long of course is the white dial which is an attractive color for such a watch I think and I like really like these, these case forms. You must mostly come with this interesting case form. See this? You have sort of a ground plate here and then you have these elements like tubes through the uh, ground plate and this looks in my eyes very very nice, very interesting. See this? So you have nice angles to look at. Here you have these, these massive crown guards. There you see the logo on the crown and so it's an interesting look. It's very handy. You have drilled lug holes so you can put it on a NATO and I bet that this watch looks awesome on a NATO also on leather and so yeah, I really can imagine that this is a strap monster. To be honest I've worn this only on the bracelet because um, I don't know I was in the mood. We had nice weather here and so I thought this is now my little early summer watch for a week and so only metal for me. Let's put it on the wrist now and there it is. 17 centimeter wrist and here you have this 39 millimeter watch and it's relatively big for me as you can see this is the case. This is the form of the case which really stands out. See this? See this? So it wears a bit bigger. I would say it wears like 40 or almost 41 millimeters. So for me clearly the maximum but for a lot of people the sweet spot and look how nice it goes together with, the, with, this, with this blue shirt here. So very nice look. Did I mention that it's a sapphire crystal? I'm not sure. So this is a sapphire crystal. Think with the coating because the reflections are not super bad and we have a massive light source here. Yeah and there you are. By the way the, the crown can be a bit uncomfortable with Yimas because it's so big and it has to be so big because you need a lot of thread to gain that water resistance. You see the same crown type by the way on what was it on Laurier, on the Laurier, Laurier dive watch. Same thing, it's not super comfortable but you get used to it. And here we are with an older, older wallet. This is my personal wallet, one of my favorites and this um, shows the ingredients that always were important for me. So saddle stitch, hand stitched, every stitch forms a little loop between the leather layers. Super sturdy, if you do something wrong you have to cut every stitch to, yeah, to correct it. Calf leather, um, two compartments for cards and but not, nothing for coins. It makes the uh, wallet a bit more slender. You know those bulky wallets with mountains of coins in it, I didn't want want to produce such things. And here you have everything you really you need and this is a super sturdy and super robust product. You could run with your car over it and it will last um, yeah, literally decades. And it, it's a bit rustic as you can see. You really see that it's handwork which I like but as said sometimes you have to carry on just and so I um, wanted to transfer this into something more advanced. And this is the new wallet. This here is a brand new wallet made of um, box calf actually. So the, you know this leather type from fine shoes. This is the same thing, box calf. And you see I have um, enhanced the stitching a bit. The stitching is more evenly in the corners. This was important. Um, and I treated it with an edge creaser here a bit so that you have a fine line which, yep, which frames the stitching a bit which I find very nice. You have the Cobra, the Cobra is un unaltered, untouched because the Cobra is cool. And so this was very important and then I'd like to use more materials. And the design is altered as you can see you have better oversight here. Better oversight over your, over your cards and um, this edge is highly improved. See this? This is a folded over edge. Here you have a, another layer to stiffen this edge here. It's sewn, let me show you this, it's sewn on the material which is okay but this is more, yeah, more, more elegant and more, it's, of course it's more difficult to be honest. It's really a step forward but it gives this nice neat look here and so these are the elements which 
were super important for me to improve. And the idea is now, I mean, this looks a bit random, but it isn't. If you put a card inside, now it's not super easy to do it, which is important because you, um, it, it will be um, a bit loosened up. And now you see that this space is necessary for your card. And people um, often ask how many cards or there you see young Tim on his, on his um, healthcare card. <laughs> and people always ask how many cards can you stuff in there? Um, to be honest, as many as you want, because um, you will you will form your wallet a bit with that. I mean, you cannot start now with 10 cards. You can start here with three or four, then the next week with five, then seven, then and so on. It will take it. And this um, quality here, this material, the, the, the strength will last decades. Absolutely, you can use this wallet at least for 10 years. And um, yeah, I would really be interested what went wrong when it's, when, it's, when it's broken after 10 years. I think you will not manage that. So you can actually use it for 20 or 30 years if you want. You can say, this is now my wallet. I don't need um, a replacement for the rest of my days. And this is reduced. The price here for these wallets is uh, strongly reduced. They do the job. I've sold lots of them. I have zero returns, re zero returns, zero warranty cases, so it really will do the job, absolutely. But if you want to have something a bit more elegant, then maybe this is the better choice here. Okay, welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found this interesting. And I do these longer videos, by the way, every Friday and every Monday I do Watch of the Week, brief reviews of recently introduced timepieces. So if you don't want to miss here any form of content, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, then you get your notifications. And this is now enough for this video here. Um, yeah, if you want to see interesting things, watches, leather work, then please join me on Instagram, caseback underscore Tim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time.